Okay, what's going on, Tycoon? So for today, we're looking at ticker symbol ANF. That's Abercrombie & Fitch. All right, retail has been on my watch list a lot lately, and I have a separate retail watch list. Um, Dollar Tree was one of them. That one did really good. ANF originally appeared on my watch list. Um, <clears throat> I had earnings, okay, um, on this day, and it created a nice gap down. Has already started filling most of that gap, and then over here, it filled the rest of the gap. Um, okay, so that was a nice swing trade. All right, also on the daily chart we have pulled up, it had a nice bounce off the 200 day simple moving average, uh, which is why I have the 50, 100 day, and 200 day simple moving averages. Those tend to be good bounce zones. Um, <clears throat> as you can see right now, this one is the, uh, the red is 100, yellow is the 50. So currently we're using the 50 simple day moving average as support for the last one, two, three, four, five, six, seven trading days. So more than a week. And um, currently our 100 day simple moving average has been a resistance. We've only been able to uh, open above it once, um, but it closed below. All right, uh, so we've tried to come up again and we're really, really close. This is a uh, doji candlestick, um, possibly a reversal candlestick. So we could see some more green candles here coming soon, okay? Um, <clears throat> so on the daily chart, I have a couple things charted up. All right, we have this uh, channel. Okay, this is a horizontal channel. Okay, this is known as a consolidation channel. This is what happens when stocks run up. Okay, when they go from $14 and more than double, triple their amount and they hit 47 from 14 to 47 in less than a year, you know what happens? <clears throat> they start to consolidate. Okay, all right. So what I have here is basically our uh, white channel. Okay, that's our consolidation channel. As you can see, we broke out of it and hit some highs. And uh, we're currently been trading a little bit below it. OK, um, we're back up in it right now. Um, <clears throat> I want to show you guys a couple technical analysis things. Um, so if we look right here, we can see that the stock price had our low. We made lower lows right here. OK, and on the RSI at this moment, we had our lowest low and then we made higher lows. OK, um, so if you can see from here to here and here to here it would be when we could have seen our bullish divergence okay and what do you know <clears throat> that daily bullish divergence um was in fact a good indicator for an entry on some swing positions we, we had one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fourteen out of the last 15 days anf has been green with one red candlestick so you could have entered here on a two uh, week long swing trade and sold here. OK, anyways, <clears throat> I really like bullish divergence. You have lower low, higher lows. OK, that is bullish divergence. Also, um, this purple trend line right here would signify our handle. To me, it looks like we could possibly be forming a cup and handle pattern. OK, here's our cup and here's our handle. OK, this is particularly how I like to chart them up. Um, so with that being said, um, we would look for a break below here to invalidate this cup and handle, meaning that we um, are no longer showing signs of a potential bullish uh, pattern, but, <clears throat> you know, we're uh, heading further into bearish, bearish territory, okay? Um, what I'm looking for is looking for the stock to drop and bounce off this white trend line right here. This white trend line is basically since we started our run off this bullish divergence, okay, this is going to be our uh, support level. So we can look for the stock to um, trade below this purple trend line and trade above this white trend line, okay, and grab it somewhere in this buy zone, okay, because I think that once the RSI bounces off of this bullish divergence trend line, we have another uh you know, or once it touches this, I think that that's another bounce zone. Okay, so you could enter here when the RSI comes closer to this trend line for swing play. Okay, um, <clears throat> and obviously, you know, if we start to trade below, then you can exit your position and say, okay, you know what, um, that one didn't work out. But a lot of times, bullish divergence is a good indicator. Okay, um, so how do you figure out the projected move off of a cup and handle? Well, you draw a trend line from here up to the top of the cup, okay? That's what this line is. I just activated and drew it over here. If you notice, we touched the bottom of our white daily channel. So that would be the our bottom currently. So you would put the, um, you would put the trend line from here to here um, on the bottom. And this is your projected move. 
So within the next few days, if we see uh, candlesticks start to open and close above this uh, purple trend line right here, this purple channel, we could say that um, we are possibly having a bullish breakdown or a bullish breakout um, <clears throat> from a daily cup and handle pattern, all right? Uh, if we look at the four hour chart, we also have the same pattern showing, okay? Um, so on the four hour chart, what I have drawn is you can see over the past 180 days, we have been in a bullish channel, okay? So that's what this is right here. This is our middle trend line of the channel, okay? And if we look more recently, uh, we have the same cup pattern, okay? Here's our cup, here's our handle, all right? So I would be looking for some entries here, okay? Um, it may not even get to here, but <clears throat> I'm just saying, you know, if you're expecting the stock to go up, okay, um, a lot of times, it consolidates and, and drops a little bit and then finds its big demand zone, its buy zone, and then takes off. So I'm looking for somewhere in here to be our buy zone, basically. Okay. Let me um let me do this a little bit more accurately. Okay. So something something like this, okay, would really be where you're looking. All right. Um, and you just want confirmation of a candle opening and closing above this on the four hour chart. Okay. So um, the next place we would see resistance, as we can see here uh, real quick, I did the same thing. I do a, drew a trend line from here to the top of this uh, cup. I uh, activated it and I put it on our bottom, okay? Um, so this would be our projected move for the cup and handle. Um, if we do get confirmation, you could look to take profits at 43.89, okay? Um, so with that being said, when we break out of here, okay, our next resistance is going to be this middle white trend line, okay, from the middle of our bullish channel, all right? As you can see, we've currently been trading on the bottom half of this, okay? So it has traded above, traded above, but it has not been able to stay above uh, recently, okay? So you could, um, there's two ways to play this cup and handle, okay? Like I said, you can try to take profits here at 43.89, uh, you can take profits here once we hit resistance on this white trend line. Um, or, you know, you can um, hold it a little bit longer and see if we, uh, you know, continue bullish momentum from a four hour cup and handle breakout all the way to the top of the trend line. So that's two ways, um, basically, um, to look at it. There's the daily cup and handle, four hour cup and handle. Uh, once you see a breakout on the four hour, you can go back to the daily and make sure it's, you know, looking good on the daily. Um, also, again, we have bullish, um, not even bullish divergence, um, but basically, you know, I'm just trying to teach you guys on how to use the RSI. So this is our RSI trend line. Um, if the stock does fall down here, uh, which to me, it looks like it could, okay, then I would look for a bounce off of the RSI trend line. So I, I would say, hey, you know, you can wait for it to bounce off this RSI trend line. And is, if it's still trading inside this uh, purple handle channel that I have drawn up, um, you could look at that as an entry for a swing, okay? And if we get below this, um, below this trend line or below this purple channel or below here, um, I would look at exiting your positions and uh, cutting your losses, okay? And then we'll go down to the one hour chart and I will show you guys exactly what I want you guys to do over the next couple of days. Um, so what I have drawn up here is going to be um, our bullish price target, our bullish breakout zone. This is our base support and resistance. So right now it would be our resistance when we're trading above it. It's our base support. Okay. This is our bearish breakout. And then this is our bearish price target. All right. Um, so what we have here is a couple of things. Uh, we have a pattern known as a uh, symmetrical triangle. Okay. Um, just want you guys to take a look at that. So boom. And. Boom, right here. I actually uh, drew, drew it from here originally just because it looks a lot better. But I noticed that if you draw from here through that trend line, it's actually still respecting this a little bit more long term. OK, um, and then these white dotted lines would be our support and resistance levels in between our uh, breakout um, price targets, basically our breakout levels and our price targets. All right. So what you want to do over the next day, if you're looking to day trade it over the next couple of days, all right, is you're going to be looking for two things, right? We have a red bearish trend line on our RSI, so we can be looking to get rejected here, okay? Um, so if we get rejected here, um, then we would start to fall. And if you're bullish, you could 
enter some um, calls to swing or to day trade off of our one hour bullish RSI trend line. Okay. So I would say right here, okay, is going to be your golden zone. Why is it not working? Here we go. All right. This is going to be your golden zone for some entries. And I would look for a bounce off of this uh, bullish RSI trend line and then break out above our uh, trend line right here. So always keep in mind, you know, you could buy here and then it gets rejected here and then it just trades in between, in between, in between. Eventually, okay, just as the stock price is making this symmetrical triangle, if you notice um, from here to here, okay, we also have a symmetrical triangle on the RSI. So you can play this both ways, all right? Um, I'm personally bullish just because it's bullish. It's got a four hour cup and handle. It's got a, uh, one, it's got a daily chart cup and handle. So I'm thinking that there's going to be a, uh, bullish breakout. Okay. If you notice here, we have a triple bottom. We have one bottom, two bottom, three bottom right here at our breakout level. That could be a bullish pattern. If you notice we had those three bottoms and then the stock shot up. Okay. It closed here and then opened all the way up here. So um, that was a pretty big move. And then it lost that momentum, okay? It's using the 50-day simple moving average as support. So what I want you guys to do is to keep an eye on this. If we fall below this level, okay, that would be our next support. This would be our next support. And then this would be our next support, okay? I am personally thinking that if we... Um... Okay, so here's, here's how you can play this symmetrical triangle, okay? Um, you can look for the candlesticks to open and close above it, and that would be confirmation of a bullish breakout, okay? Um, and you could try to day trade or swing trade. Or if you see it open and close below, this could be a possible bearish breakout, and you could um, day trade some put options on it, okay? But I think that if we hit right here, we would form a, another... Um, triple bottom basically I, I think originally when i wrote this um there wasn't a three I, I don't think this candlestick was there originally but um with that being said um it would be a quad bottom okay which is a could be another bullish pattern okay so if we do um if it does seem to be showing a bearish breakout i would actually look for a bounce here off of, and, and 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 for a quad bottom at our breakout level and if we hold that as support, then we're going to be going up. And what you can do is you can take profits at each one of these resistance levels, okay? Every single one of these. Um, and you could try to hold, or you could try to swing and hold all the way up to our bullish price target, okay? Um, all we have to do is start trading above here. Once we're opening and closing above here, then we're opening and closing above here, opening and closing above here. And then you can take your profits here once we uh, get close to that. All right. Um, any of these would be great. Take profit zones. OK, you may see the, the stock jump up here, jump up here, try to get above it. And then it's closing down below. And you know what? We, we weren't able to get past our breakout zone, but you were able to, um, you know, uh, collect a little bit of profits on some call options, um, you know, riding this momentum. So. Um, that's why I'm looking at ANF right now. I think it's got good possibilities for a day trade or swing trade on, a, on some options right now. Um, I previously had posted a few plays on the, uh, based off of the daily chart. Okay. Um, with this gap. So I initially called some gap fill plays that you could try to make. And, um, you know, if you got a long enough contract on your expiration date, those went ahead and paid very nicely. Like I said, we've had 15, uh, 14 out of the last 15 bullish days have been uh, green, only one red candle, okay? So we have one day chart, cup and handle, four hour chart, cup and handle. And on our one hour chart, we have a uh, bullish channel, okay? Um, so that's all I wanted to show you guys. Um, go over a couple of things. Let me know what you guys think below about ticker symbol ANF, Abercrombie and Fitch.